Okay, so 2-2 two, two, uh, elements presentation, starting off with chlorine, okay? So start off with chlorine, then I'll shout next for the next one. So right, on you go. Chlorine melts at minus 101.5 degrees Celsius. It's a sulfur and it's a liquid discovered in 1774. His density of 1.56 grams per centimetre cubed is, um, is used swimming pool to keep the water clean. And Right, next. Next. Get up, quick. Quick. Mm -hmm. See you under. <coughs> so you can see it on the screen. Right. Okay. Mm. It melts at 906. What is? Silver melts at 962 degrees Celsius. And it boils at 2,000... See that information, the melting point? <coughs> is that interesting? No. No, what's interesting? Uh, it's a solid um, symbols on the periodic table. Is that interesting? I don't know. So what's the interesting thing <laughs> on the sheet? Pick something interesting uh, on the sheet, please. Well, it looks like that and it's used to make silver rings. Okay, right next. <laughs> Aaron? Tell us what element you're doing and tell me something interesting off your sheet when you get through the mobs. Go. Uh, I'm doing mercury and it's used in thermometers and it looks like that. What's so special about mercury? Um, it's a liquid metal. Liquid metal. It's only liquid metal. Okay, there's no other metals that are liquids. Liquid metal at room temperature. It's important. Right, next. Harmon is a solid and is used for diamond and water filters. Okay, water filters, diamond, oh, leave it there. Um, so, electronics, what's so special about carbon then? It's used for electronics. If you don't know, does anyone know? Does anyone know? Carbon is one of the only non metals that can conduct electricity. Every other non metal can. Okay, apart from maybe silicon. Okay, next. Start there, go. Come on, come here. Put your sheet there. Tell us who the element is. Um, magnesium. It's used in photograph flares in some bombs and looks like that. It's like what? <laughs> magnesium. Magnesium is like what? It can be a powder. It can be a powder. Magnesium is more commonly known as a metal, which looks like that. What about a metal? That's magnesium. Okay, and we're going to burn some of that today. Okay, see what it's like. Right, next. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry up, hurry up. Sulfur is a solid powder that was discovered in the prehistoric, and sulfur is a primary source right. to produce sulfuric acid, the world's most used chemical and a versatile mineral acid. Okay, so sulfur is the world's, the sulfuric acid, the world's most used chemical. Ah, very good. And what's that lemon yellow? Sintered microcrystals. What does sintered mean? <laughs> oh, I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't need that. <laughs> sintered, I don't know what sintered means either. Okay, I, I want you to tell us, what, find out what sintered is. And go, right, next. One up. Quickly now. Chop, 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 chop. Right, what are you doing? Nickel. Nickel? Nickel, yeah. Nickel. Nickel. It's a coin. I mean, it's a coin. Nickel's a coin. It's a type of, it's like, they use it in America. Use it to make it, oh, a nickel. Oh, hello. A nickel is a coin, yeah, but it doesn't it's necessarily, like it's made metal. just of nickel. Yeah, but it's a metal. Right? Okay, it's a metal, right. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> nickel, stuff. what is it used for? To buy stuff in shops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nickel. Uh, nickel can be made, it can be used to make coins, right? But a use of nickel is not to buy stuff in shops. A use yes. of nickel is to make coins. In America. So you just take a big pile of nickel into a shop and go, here, I want to buy some sweets. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Right, anyway, it's used to make coins. Right, good, thank you. Next. This is going on YouTube, oh, it's not going to have many hits. Right, next. Ten. Uh, ten, yes. It's used for like roofing. 
Oh. Okay, the roof. Oh, a ten roof. <laughs> that's not very funny. No. <laughs> so that's it. Ten is used for ten roofs. Yeah. So how you go? I, I got something that's like used to prevent erosion or something like that. I wasn't really sure. Ten, ten is ten not made to make like tomato soup. Uh, tomato soup. Ten. 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 Tomato no. soup. Ten. ten can be used to make tens. Yeah, it used to be. That's why it's called tens. Because it used to be a tin. Right? What's oh. made of now? It's made of now, now it's made of steel or, or stainless steel or something, but tens can be used to make tens. One to other, you come. Yeah, sure. Right, that's fine. Okay, tens to make tens and make for roofing. Add on that um, cans of soup. Right, okay. Next. Is this going on YouTube? <laughs> yeah. Right, Danielle. <laughs> many likes. Shh. Come on, it's here. Okay, it doesn't matter. Right, quiet please. What are you doing? Nitrogen. Nitrogen, right. And it's a gas and it's used in fertilizers and it's in the air. Fertilise in the air. Now, shh, common thing about nitrogen is that it's the most common gas in the air. It's the biggest, everyone seems to think that oxygen is the biggest gas in the air, but no, but nitrogen is the biggest gas in the air. Okay, right next. Leanne. Hurry up, hurry up. <coughs> okay, what one are you doing? Aluminium. Aluminium, right, tell us something about aluminium. It's used for cans. No, no, that's not what you've written. You've written it is used for everything. What do you mean it's used for everything? Cans of juice. Right. That is everything. Is that everything in the world with cans of juice? Everything in your world is cans of juice. What about trees? What do you mean it's used for everything? Grass. Is aluminium made to use tables? No, aluminium Say something. Hello. No. Are you awake? Aluminium's no, it's not used to make everything, but like cans for juice and other stuff. Yeah, that's why it's a very scientific brain. Okay, it's not used for everything, can So, what what do we know? Anyone else know anything else has made of aluminium? Yep, on. Tin foil. Tin foil, yep. Anything else? Um, there's bits in computers that Yep, aluminium, yep. Oh. Uh, you can do, yep. Can you make bikes from aluminium? Bikes from aluminium, yep. Cars can be made of aluminium. Okay. Please. Very, what's the property of aluminium that makes that you use for a lot of these things? It's strong. It's strong and? Soft. No, well, it's not that Is soft. It's small. Small? What do you mean small? It aluminium. Aluminium. <laughs> yes. No, Lauren. Can it bend? It can bend, yep. But it's light. It's strong and it's light. Because it's light, it can be used for lots of different things. So you need something light for. Okay, thank you.